Green is good. Green is right. Green works. And that, that, is, the, that is the way ahead for the whole planet, because uh, this COP26 must be the moment when government joins hands with the private sector together with the, with the MDBs, with the, the IMF, the World Bank. We should be setting the parameters, the strike prices, uh, the contract for difference for this green technology. We, we should be using this moment collectively as government to leverage in the trillions of the market, creating the country platforms that will not only tackle climate change, but deliver green jobs and green growth around the world. And uh, here in the UK, that technological revolution is being turbocharged by the second of the three big changes that are, that is happening, uh, that are happening in our country. We're, we're using our new freedoms outside the EU to do things differently and to regulate, we hope, better. Not just when it comes to vaccines, but in so many areas of the 21st century economy where the UK has a lead. Financial services, cyber, AI, quantum computing, gene editing, data, data, uh, data, uh, tech of all kinds. Fintech, medtech, edtech, nanotech, green tech. Starting to sound like 15th century Mexico. Uh, we, we have, we have, we, we lead the world in tech. We have um, more than... More than, there are only, let me tell you, there, there, are, there are only three countries in the world that have more than 100 unicorns. You know what I mean by unicorn? It's a, it's a, a, a tech startup worth more than, worth more than a, billion, a billion dollars. And, and they, are, they are the US, uh, China, and the United Kingdom. And the thing about our, we've got about 106 now, I think. And uh, our, our nearest European rival, I won't mention them by name. Uh, I have, I think, about 24, but never mind. Uh, <laughs> these, the, but the point about these tech unicorns, they are increasingly dispersed around the UK. And there are tech unicorns in, in Manchester, in Solihull. And that brings me to the third great transformation that is, that is happening now in our, in our country. And the overarching moral, political, economic objective of this government. And we believe, I believe, that talent and genius and flair and imagination and enthusiasm are distributed e evenly throughout the human race and throughout the UK. But opportunity is not. And for too long, we've had in the UK a grotesquely lopsided economy. So we are uniting and levelling up with a colossal £640 billion programme of investment in infrastructure, in education, in skills and in technology. We're investing in Northern Powerhouse Rail uh, and other massive projects connecting the great urban centres of the North so that there's the same ease of commuting, the same agglomeration effects that we've long seen in the South. We're putting gigabit broadband everywhere. Uh, it was 7% uh, when I first became uh, Prime Minister. It's now rising 65%, all propelled by Rishi's wonderful super deduction for capital investment. And we're investing in the skills, skills, skills of the British people, finally tackling the productivity puzzle that we have some of the most productive companies anywhere in the world, but also this great long tail of relative lack of productivity, moving from a low-wage, low-skill economy to a high-wage, high-skill economy, controlling immigration, but with a commitment to global talent and making sure that we are open to people who want to come and make their lives here and contribute to our country. And, and that is the plan. The Green Industrial Revolution, turbocharged by new Brexit freedoms, with an agenda to unite and level up across the country. And we have all sorts of familiar advantages, or ones that you will have heard uh, me say before, possibly, some of you veterans uh, of, the, uh, of my speeches, Jerry. Uh, the time zone. We have the right time zone. We have the, we have the, the right language. Well, I think it's the right language. I mean, I think it's, a, it's a pretty useful language. Uh, we have the rule of law. We have, we have great, great universities. Some of the, the world's best universities are, are, are in this country and dispersed across this country. We have a cultural and media footprint so massive that Peppa Pig is, which I know a lot about at the moment, Peppa Pig <laughs> is, teaching, is teaching kids in America to say tomato and petrol and mummy instead of mom, apparently. Uh, and there are three current contestants for the world number one uh, hit, they're, they're, and, they're, and they, are, they are Adele and Coldplay and Ed Sheeran. And if you're really worried about the weather, which I can't believe you are, let me remind you, as I never tire of saying, that it actually rains more in Rome. This is the great cultural Moulinex of, uh, of the world. It is the cyclotron of talent. We already attract huge sums of, of inward investment, more than anywhere else in, in this 
hemisphere. And this is the moment when we in the UK want to lengthen that lead. Uh, uh, this summit has already, by its own standards, been a success because we've raised a further 10 billion of inward investment, uh, securing 30,000, creating 30,000 uh, new jobs. But you will remember that moment in Trading Places when Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd have been selling, selling, selling pork bellies, or I think it, maybe it's frozen concentrated orange. You remember this bit. Sell, sell, sell. And, and then they, they turn and they look at each other with a wild gleam in their eyes. And they look at the clock. And they buy, buy, buy. And now is that time, my friends. Now is the moment. Now is the moment for you to consult the atlas of investment that we've provided for you. Now is the time for you to buy into a country that has long-standing and natural advantages as a home for investment, but which is now changing and building on those advantages and moving in an exciting new direction with a green industrial revolution, with new regulatory freedoms and a new mission to unite and level up across the whole of the United Kingdom. Come with us on that journey and I can tell you the UK government will be with you every step of the way. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the summit. Thank you. <laughs>